What's up, y'all? Take two. I just recorded a bunch of a video and uh, screwed it up. So, anyways, we're on day 50 of the Mystery Shard free to play account. We just got uh, two speed artifacts, so let's check them out. Trash. And good. If this could get a triple speed, this would be... Even a double speed would be amazing. Alright, there we go. Um, we've got an artifact event running right now. I did post a video of using the airplane mode trick to upgrade artifacts. So I'm going to leave this at 10 and we're going to upgrade it later. Um, we got our Armager, one of our Armagers to five star. Um, I'm at the point where I've got to start considering how I'm going to be taking down higher level spider. And obviously for fire Knight 20, I'm going to need a, a six star Armager. And, and on top of that, We've got the Frost Spider Doom Tower rotation coming up next. And I'm definitely going to need an Armager because I don't have any HP burn champions. So I need to have Armager for the block revive uh, to last hit the spider so I can clear it. He's also going to be useful in his destroy set on the Scarab boss if I can get him a Blood Shield accessory. Um, we've got Clan v Clan coming up in about four days or something, maybe a week. So hopefully we win a Blood Shield accessory for Sacred Order. Um, today I leveled up these artifacts to 16, and I got some really solid sub rolls on them. Uh, not so much this one, but these crit rate gloves are nice. I got crit rate on the last spot here. Um, so yeah. I put in him in this reaction defense with a little bit of accuracy. It was basically the best one I had available. So I'm just trying to boost his accuracy as much as possible. I do have an accuracy banner for when he hits uh, six star. So if I max this out, it should be enough accuracy to get him uh, up to speed for spider 20. Nice, defense. So I'll probably max that out during the artifact event as well, just to get it ready for him. Um, I'm going to be leveling up some of like her speed boots here, and maybe a couple of her accessories. Um, I could level the helmet as well. It's a pretty decent helmet. So I'm going to be putting some love into her. I've got the Defeat of Faction Wars boss today. And I could do it here. But I'd rather farm uh, Stage 8 if possible. And I've wanted to push up on this boss anyway. So this is the team we're running with. I got rid of those two uncommons. Because I pulled a dupe of each of these guys. So I'm, I'm going to get these guys to 30, maybe 40 tonight if I need to. But more than likely, I'll just re-gear a couple of these champs to be able to take the boss down. We'll get another rare tome. Um, <clears throat> Classic Arena. We're just doing the same stuff every day. Okay, so we've cut in. Oh, I had Broadmaw in here because I, I had to do uh, an arena fight with one of each uh, affinity, so yikes.
Maybe it'll work out. Broadmaw's a tanky boy. Okay, we need to get this Rodos down. Okay, so that didn't work. So let's try that again with our actual team. Those extra turns from Rodos are rough. There's a reason why he's the number one arena nuker in the game. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. He must have revenge accessories on. Okay, so that Rodos is too tough for me to fight. Um, it's nice having War Maiden geared out for some damage. I basically have two damage dealers, but War Maiden is also my drop defense. It's actually been working out pretty good for me in Arena. Because uh, Kale doesn't have a dedicated nuking build. So he still hits kind of weak. Um, try to win this speed race. Like she just, she clears their hit points down to almost half on her own. Uh, you can see from my battle log here. <laughs> uh, I've still got a one-person defense in because I'm not trying to climb. <laughs> this guy, this legend here, Beya ZZNC 2.0. He went with he went with the death match. Level 50 high Katoon versus 50 high Katoon. What a champ! Clearly, my high Katoon is better. Um. So yeah, some of these teams I'm getting in Silver 2 are getting quite quite powerful because of my player power going up and how they do the matchmaking. It's like 189,000 player power or team power. Um, I'm still winning pretty much all the fights that I take. We've got an 88% win rate now, so it's gone up quite a bit. This is what the Great Hall is looking like. Uh, I'm going to be upgrading accuracies and resistances next. I want to get these all to like 4. Get the accuracies to 6. Um, champ training tournament, we're in 5th place. So we're clearly not going to win the Mountain King. But... Uh, we're at least going to get some gems or some some charms and maybe some relentless gear. It's possible I could push up into second place and snipe this Lego Tome and the six star Epic Relentless. Um, we'll see. We'll see how far my energy goes. Fire Knight Tournament. We've been doing some Fire Knight the past few days to push up to 1920. So nothing special there, but we will be able to get this uh, 100,000 silver. And then the tag team tournament, we've got reset in a few days. 
And then we've got Clan B Clan next week. So I do want to push up to Bronze uh, 3. Or Bronze bronze 2, sorry. And I did buy the 15 gem refill yesterday. It's sitting in my inbox. So I'm hoping this guy doesn't buy many refills. And I might be able to snipe the top spot. But if not, I'm going to try to get this epic tome. Artifact event. I did post that artifact video if you want to go check it out. But I'm slowly creeping up here to 47.75. Once I get that, I'm going to save my extra silver. And uh, invest it into champion storage spots. Because I'm starting to run a little bit. Starting to feel a little bit cramped. Dungeon Divers ends tonight, so I'm going to be spending all my energy in champ training. And hopefully I'll get at least a shard, maybe the book. Um, but I've been champ training in... Mostly in stage 8-3. So I've been doing 8-3 for the past day to get copies of Templar. Um, he's going to be my solo Bommel champ. I just need to get a regeneration set for him. But I'm going to try to farm up all the books I need for him so I can use them during CVC. And next time Bommel rotation comes around, he should be ready to roll to at least get me through normal Bommels. And uh, if my gear is good enough by then, maybe even hard Bommel 10. I pulled an interesting champion yesterday. I pulled a dupe apothecary. So I'm still undecided if I'm going to build him or not. Um, he's an amazing champ, obviously. So having two of him should be more amazing, right? I'm kind of thinking he... I could put this one in a toxic set. And then use him as kind of a dungeon. Uh, dungeon build to do some extra damage. And also to help me get through faction wars. So I'm considering that, what I want to do with it. Um, faction Guardians are looking pretty good. We're slowly filling them out, right? Sacred Order, we've got the Templars that I'm saving for books. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm, I'm holding on to the rares that I get. Even if I don't plan to use them. Just so that I can hopefully pair them off and fill up my Faction Guardians. That's something I want to work on next. Uh, I'm going to be farming Campaign uh, Stage 3 or 4, the Forest of whatever, the Forest stage where Spirit Host drops. I need to get more Spirit Hosts for books. Because I'm going to need my Spirit Host booked for Nether Spider. And... I want to get the bonus stats for Kale as well. So my clan quests, I've got one quest holding me back from get moving to a new clan. And it's to craft five legendary artifacts in the forge using materials earned from defeating bosses in the Doom Tower. So I just went and did my daily Doom Tower keys and we're going to see if we can get lucky and craft a legendary piece to finish that quest I also have a daily quest yeah there it is craft craft an epic or legendary oh come on give me legendary please I'm gonna be so salty if I make it through the whole week Without getting this. Come on. Such a dice roll, man. Please. Give me legendary. Oh my god. Okay, so... 
I have to wait another day before I transfer clans now because I picked a bad clan quest. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> so hopefully I get it tomorrow. Um, what else are we working on? So we need to do our three dungeon runs for the day. I'm going to go ahead and give I'm going to I'm going to level some artifacts and then give uh Fire Knight 19 a try. So I'm going to pause this and I'll bring you back in after.
everybody, what's going on? So if you haven't seen it yet, Kizzle put out a video about the summon rate data. For some reason, my video became unpaused. So I'm just going to... Uh... wrap it up here by trying to take down Fire Knight 19. I haven't upgraded any of the gear I wanted to upgrade yet, so let's just go and give it a shot. Oh, and we're out of energy. Wish me luck. Oh, this could be ugly. We've got uh, Ray here with her AoE stripping buff and all that. Try to get her frozen. Awesome. And I want to freeze this guy. I don't think you need to watch this part, so I'm going to pause again. I'll come back at the boss. Okay, so it took us about nine minutes to get to the boss. Oh, fuck. Forgot to put up his uh, reflect damage. Come on, if I can get some turn meter drop here, then I might be able to still get it up. Come on. Nice. Oh, that's spicy. Okay, hopefully we can get attacked down. Nice. Heal reduction. Nope. Resisted. This guy's seeming a little bit... <laughs> Maybe a little bit out of our league. What is... Oh, I'm not landing my stuff. Kind of rough. Uh, I definitely need to get some heals off here. Okay. Heal reduction, please. Nice. I need to get this slow speed off. Uh, what do I do? Okay, well, I'm going to heal her. I need to get this off or else my run's basically done. Nice. Uh, where's the slow speed at?
This is not looking very hopeful. I desperately need a slow speed. Okay, thank God. Now I need to get this attack down off. All right, I can survive another hit. And now I need to get some people healed up ASAP. Okay. This is getting pretty sketchy. Um, I don't want to fill up his debuff bar because I still need to get a decreased speed back up here. Perfect. Hopefully we can reapply decreased attack. Nope. We still got one more turn on it. His debuff bar is full, so no point using his A3. Okay, so I need to get heal reduction and decrease attack back up this round or else I'm screwed. But I also need to get this decrease speed back up. Okay. Uh, let's get everybody topped up. Okay, please land. Please land. Oh, okay. That's going to be a problem. Um, I'm probably going to lose Kale and Life Taker here. So that's kind of a big issue here. Uh, <clears throat> I need to make sure at least these three stay up. If I lose more than two people, uh, that's going to be a wipe. Okay.
Please land decrease attack. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. Please land. Nice. We have a chance. Uh, no decrease attack, so I'm definitely going to lose these two. So I don't need to heal. I do need to heal these guys just in case. Didn't land decrease attack again. Okay, I think we're good. These poisons should be enough to kill him. Easy game. Uh, realistically, uh, I might use that if it triple rolls speed, but honestly, the odds of it triple rolling speed are very slim. And we finished our progress mission. So now we're on win a 5 or 6 star banner from stage 10 or higher of Spider's Den. And let's check out those. Okay, that's trash. And that that's actually really nice. Let's see how this rolls. Crit rate, perfect. Triple crit rate would be ideal. Okay, defense is fine. That was the least the least one I wanted. Still a solid piece for a defense nuker. Which I have a couple of, so. Alright, since we're here, we might as well try pushing on in the spider and see how we're doing now. Um, yeah, let's just go in with our regular team and see if they can nuke it down. I've had a few upgrades since last time, so. Hopefully we get a slow speed up. Nice. Everybody's got War Master or Giant Slayer now. So they're doing a, a considerable amount more damage.
So up until about stage 13, uh, maybe even 14 and 15, if you have strong enough nukers, all you're going to be doing is AoEing down the Spiderlings. Once you get to around maybe 14, 15, 16, it becomes about uh, being able to tank the Spiderlings while you turn meter control the main spider. So I'm considering what teams I'm going to be running for higher level spider. Now, I know Zephyr Sniper can tank the Spiderlings if you put her in like uh, revenge accessories with lifesteal. She's a defense-based champion and her A1 is an AoE. So with Lifesteal and Warmaster procs, she should be able to uh, tank the Spiderlings if you have enough resistance on her. So I'm considering a team of Zephyr Sniper, Soulbond Boyer, two Armagers, and then the last spot would be either High Katoon for the slow speed and more turn meter, or a second Soulbond Boyer. And if I can get Zephyr Sniper to have the lowest hit points out of all of them, then she should tank regardless of the affinity of the spider. So I just need to build uh, Soul Bond as, or sorry, Zephyr Sniper as tanky as possible with reasonably low hit points, life steal gear, high resistance, and I can build everybody else with high hit points. Uh, just make them fast and accurate to lower the turn meter of the main spider. And I'm hoping that's a team that can work. But uh, if I can auto spider 13 here, um, I, then I won't really be touching spider again for a long while. I could even sub Broadmaw in. If I bring in Broadmaw and drop War Maiden, maybe, then I can just have Broadmaw repeatedly resurrecting whoever dies. And then maybe switch out Shield Guard for an Armager. But we'll see. Maybe this team will win and I won't have to worry about it. They seem to be doing pretty pretty decently here. Even if I tank some Spiderlings, I've got Apothecary there to cure. I'd be pretty happy being able to farm 13 on auto. Uh, next time a spider tournament comes around, I will probably compete in it because I'm at the point now where I need a lot of accessories for different champions I have at 6 star and at 5 star. So it looks like Kale's going to die here at the end. 
that's fine. Uh, should be able to kill the main spider anyway. Yeah. And I got a brew. Okay, so that's about it for the update today. Um, still making some very solid progress here on the account. I'm going to be doing all my dailies. Uh, clearing the Shadowkin faction boss. Um, doing another... I'm going to run Spider 13 again until I get the third artifact here. I'm going to level a bunch more artifacts for the event. Do some more champ training. And other than that, I will see you tomorrow.